Hey guys, welcome back. It's Finit Designs here with a brand new Affinity Publisher beta tutorial. And in this video, we are going to be learning how to use the artistic text tool and some text frames uh, to get started with some basic text. And uh, let's go ahead and use this uh, text box and we can go down here, text frame, and uh, we will add a header. So we can just drag out a header box like that. You can enter any text that you want as a header, but we will just be using uh, some filler text. Uh, so we can go to the top menu text and then go to, there should be an option for insert, insert filler text. And uh, right now it's a bit too much. So we can just go ahead and delete uh, text that we don't need. And uh, I'm gonna select some text right here. Maybe it's glitching, no problem. Uh, so for some reason it's glitching, uh, but we will just enter our own text. Obviously we can't really see that. So we can increase the text size or the font size. And uh, we will choose a fairly big size, maybe 48 or uh, 64. You can also enter a custom number. So if you don't want 64 or a preset, then we can enter maybe let's say 50. And uh, with that there, we can also further edit our alignment. So we have the justification settings, also um, bold, italic, underline. You can also change the color of the font and uh, the text. And uh, we have some other uh, alignment and adjustment options such as uh, the bullet and also the number list. So if you wanna make this into a bullet, we can by clicking this or a list with uh, numbers. And uh, we can also change the uh, point size. Um, I'm assuming that's for the bullet points. Um, so we will go into further detail on how to edit text in a more advanced tutorial, but uh, we'll let's see how we can add some body copy to this as well. So again, let me change the spelling. Yeah, we can go ahead and choose like a white for now. And uh, let's go ahead and add another text box. So go to your text frame or frame text tool and click and drag within our rulers or guides. And we can again add some uh, some text using the filler text option. Right now we cannot see the text very well. So if you wanna zoom in, just use command and the plus on your keyboard to zoom in and uh, command minus to zoom out. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of squished. The text isn't uh, um, very laid out properly, but we can fix that so we can um, play with the character settings and we have further adjustments and positioning uh, settings that we can use to fix this line problem. To fix this, we can use the letting right now it's on uh, five or negative five, I think. So we can increase that to a positive number. Let's go to 14. That looks uh, pretty good. Um, we can also change the font and you can choose any font that you would like. So let's just choose um, a veneer maybe. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you use the basic uh, text frame tool and uh, add some copy, body copy to your layout.